Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Tech Wears, and today is August 20th, 2025. It's finally coming. Um, Valve Freeman is going to be a console from Valve, similar to the Steam Deck, but it's not going to be handheld. It's going to be an actual console that's meant to um, be in like the living room, similar to the Xbox and PlayStation. So, that's coming. Uh, Valve Freeman... Return of the Steam Machine, the reason why the original launch of the Steam Machines, not Steam Machine, but actual Steam Machines failed, is due to many reasons. Uh, One big reason is because there was just so many of them. Every manufacturer was making their own quote-unquote Steam Machine. They varied in prices by like big, big uh, differences you could have got a steam machine for a thousand dollars and then there was one six hundred dollars and there was one two thousand dollars so it was it was ridiculous too many versions of it too the prices were insane and also the specs were just ridiculous but anyways val freeman appears on geekbench six core amd custom apu with radeon rx 7600 level graphics it's not that powerful honestly but it is what it is so that's not that's not the thing that's going to make it great. It's not the actual um, it's hardware because, of course, they could use more powerful hardware, f- for example, from Intel. Uh, you know, Lunar Lake is better than AMD's uh, RDNA 3.5 or whatever uh, chips. XC2 is more powerful than RDNA 3.5. Five when it comes to like mobile graphics. Anyways, that's that's for a different video. The success of SteamOS and its adoption by third-party hardware makers such as Lenovo might might turn out to be a stronger push for alternative gaming operating system than many expected. A new code name from Valve Freeman has now been spotted in Geekbench, confirming its existence for the first time. Freeman has been subject of rumors since last year. It is believed to be a new device from Valve, possibly a standalone gaming console or set set top box. Uh, this recalls the earlier Steam Machines project. Valve's attempt to capture the living room gaming market years ago, but this time the situation is different. SteamOS has since matured and now offers performance that is often comparable, comparable to or better than Windows. Giving Valve a stronger foundation to push new alternatives. Yes, SteamOS is better than Windows when it comes to gaming in some scenarios. Windows OS, while it is something you could use for work, you could use for school, you can use for general computing, general web browsing, media, YouTube, email, things like that. When it comes to gaming, it's just bloated. Like, for example, if, if you're just a gamer and you just... You're using your uh, your PC to game 90% of the time. You're not really using those other features that Windows has. Windows is just bloated with a bunch of features that is pretty much useless for gamers. So, unless Windows releases like a Windows gaming version, where when you're installing Windows operating system, you can choose, are you a gamer, are you a student, are you, you know... If you choose the gamer and it's just like a slimmed down version of Windows, cleaned up, that there's not that many performances running in the background. It's just a gaming version. It's for gamers. That would be great. And that would probably be better than actual just regular Windows. But until then, SteamOS is probably the best alternative you can have. And that's, that's great. So let's keep reading. Uh, the Valve Freeman APU appears to be based on Hogpoint. Ryzen 8040 or Ryzen 200 series. Mobile APUs featuring Zen 4 cores and Radeon uh, 780M graphics with 12 RDNA 3 compute units. However, this CPU seems to be customized rather than a standard APU design. And for a good reason. According to Geekbench, the the JSON uh, entry, Freeman is paired with a Radeon RX 7600 graphics card. Even though this uh, detail does not appear on the main result page. The important detail is that RX 70, 7600 rather than 7600M. So it's not the mobile one. It's like like a discrete 
uh, GPU. Anyways, uh, pointing to a Navi 33 class GPU with 32 RDNA 3 computing units. All right. Uh, 2048 cores, uh, uh, 128 bit memory interface, and 8 gigs of memory. So it is uh, pretty much as budget of a GPU you can get. So there's, since there's no trace of RDNA 7080M, it is possible that AMD has developed a custom APU with uh, six Zen 4 cores and integrated graphics based on RX 7600 specs, combining everything into a single package. This would mean 32 RDNA 3 compute units, similar in concept to Strix Halo, but using older architectures. In reality, moving from Zen 4 to Zen 5 or RDNA 3 to RDNA 3.5 may not bring major difference for gaming performance. Okay, so this is not even using RDNA 3.5. It's using RDNA 3. Um, and it says here it's not. it might not bring that big of a difference in gaming performance. Anyways, especially since Steam Deck already demonstrates how Valve's focus on power efficiency can allow it can allow its devices to outperform powerful con more powerful consoles. Um, I don't know about that. Anyways, uh, they broke it down in a nice chart. Video cards did right here. So as you can see, here's uh, Valve Galileo, uh, which is the code name. And now here's Va uh, Valve Freeman. So Valve Gal Galileo is the Steam Deck. So APU for handheld consoles, and then you have the APU for standalone console question mark uh other code name is van gogh for the apu anyways here's some specs processor code name van gogh we got a hot point two i don't know if that's the official code name anyways keep 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 reading here uh so yeah steam deck uses uh eight rdna2 uh, computer units whereas for the graphics whereas the freeman the RX 7600 class, 32 RDNA 3, uh, RDNA 3 compute units, so more powerful, of course. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm really excited. I want to see more. The more PCs out there, the better. And this is a PC a running APU. What I want to see from it, Valve, though, I want to see Valve release like an Intel-based one. Release an Intel-based Steam Deck. Release an Intel-based... Um, a Steam machine or Steam box or whatever you want to call it. Uh, give players and gamers and customers and consumers more choices. The more choices, the better. Even if it means this, uh, the Intel version is going to be cheaper or if it means it's going to be a little bit more expensive. It, it, it's whatever. And um, I think if they partner up with Intel, I think Intel is like kind of like, you know, their back, their back is against the wall right now. So I think they, they would probably sell chips to Valve uh, for cheaper, maybe even for free, just for the market share and for the, you know, for the, I guess for the, like, name, like, right, uh, marketing and, yeah, for the market share, anyways, that's it, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, man, I'm excited, can't wait, I think Valve might be announcing these sometime in this, like, late Q4, maybe November or something, uh, or maybe just before the holidays, I don't know, but more PC hardware on the market, the better, take care, everyone, peace. Take words.